For me, it's not about the money. I'll give up the money knowing that every person here can get their own apartment instead of being under the shelter system. Their own apartment, say like the tiny homes, but their own apartment in a high rise, living their own life on their own terms without, have, as I said, having to be policed and to be watched. Like, you know, this is what I like. As I said, I saw for years people living on the street and who is not at the house of friendship is, and they keep bouncing from shelter to shelter. Why is that? Why is that? Why can't they have their own apartment? I don't understand. I want to know what's going on. Why can't they have their own place? Why are they not pushing for that? Why isn't anybody pushing for them to have their own place? That's what I want to know. I don't get it, I don't understand it, I don't know what's going on. Because I know these guys are capable of to cure themselves. I know they are, I see it. They are and they can. And I know once they're here, they will come out, all of them here will come out shining. On the phone, she thanked me. She's like, Nadine, you were awesome. You treated me well. And now she wants to get back her apartment. And all these people were here, had an apartment some way, some shape or form once in their life. At a house, there was a couple people that had their house. And just something went wrong. They got broken. And it's hard to put the pieces together. It's like a puzzle. But this is like a weird puzzle. They have some puzzles that are hard to fit back together. And I'm trying to put the pieces back together so they can get their life back. And I know it's possible. It is possible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. So when they were trying to push the people from downtown, they were pushing them out of the downtown. I found out after, I didn't know, but so people, this was in um, March, January 2019, because I guess there, there was an article in the paper saying they wanted to get, they were going to get rid of homelessness by 2020. I don't know how they were going to do that when they had nothing set in place. Nothing was set in place. So what was being done was they took up the benches from downtown. Just all these stuff, there was no phone, there was no place for people to use the internet late. So my store was the spot where everybody came. And the one that I opened my door, there was about 30, 40 people outside, homeless people. And I was like, what? What's going on? And the one guy... said to me, Nadine, they're pushing us out of downtown. And he said it like that. I said, what? He's like, yeah, they're pushing us way from the top all the way down. This is our last stop. And he said it exactly like that. This is our last place that we can go to and be welcome. Because all our places that we were welcome were pushed out. Pushed out.